Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talking Fitchburg on the Tuesday, March 22nd of 2022. That's a lot of 22s. You ask me. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Glad you're tuning with us here for another edition of Talking Fitchburg. Got a jam-packed show for you. Coming up tonight, we are going to check in with the Fitchburg Chamber. Brandon will be here to give us an update on uh, what's happening at the Chamber. As we get closer and closer to the warm weather and some great events happening here in our community, We'll share those uh, events and uh, learn more uh, from the chamber coming up. Plus, we're going to check in uh, with Chad Brecken, our city administrator. We interviewed him last week. We want to replay that for you in case you missed it on a whole slew of topics. Uh, we're discussing everything uh, as we do try to keep uh, you informed of what's happening here in the city of Fitchburg. And speaking of uh, keeping you up to date on what's happening in the city of Fitchburg, Let's get into some headlines, right? As uh, we work through this Tuesday, we start with Arbor Day events. Got some dates for you on some Arbor Day events. Uh, so uh, get your calendars out, pocket, whatever. Well, however you uh, get this down. Saturday, uh, April 30th. Uh, this is when uh, we will be having our events. Uh, Corey Hill Park, 9 a.m. Meet at the uh, gazebo. We'll be planting some trees and shrubs in the park to replace uh, ash trees that were removed due to the emerald ash borer and provide nesting habit uh, habitat for birds. Also, uh, be over at Chick is it Chickory Chickory Meadows Park, 9:30 a.m. Meet at the gazebo. We'll be planting a native shrubs to replace the honeysuckle and buckthorn that was removed last winter. That stuff's messy. So we got, we got two events there for you. We'll keep you up to date if there's any more coming up. But those are the ones we have so far. And uh, hopefully you'll help uh, take part in some of these fun events. All right. Also, we want you to take part in helping out with our commissions and committees. If you are interested in joining one, we've got some openings for you. The mayor is accepting applications for citizens interested in serving the city of Fitchburg on board or commission. If you would like to be considered uh, for an appointment, please complete the and submit the application by using the link at FitchburgWI.com. It's at our website. The mayor will re review all applications and then you'll be uh, contacted if you're being considered for an appointment. We're accepting uh, for vacancies on the, the CEDA, Community Economic Development Authority, Housing, Library, Police and Fire Commission, Transportation and Transit, Tree Advisory, and Zoning Board of Appeals. On the application form, you may indicate your interest in more than one committee. If you want to join all the committees, go for it. Put it down. See which one you get on, right? Uh, but if you are interested in helping out, you got to fill out the form. When Andrew posts up the uh, headlines, he shares the link. And we have that link, so you can go and check that out. All right. With uh, rain in the forecast, want to remind you folks to uh, slow down out there uh, as it's going to be uh, slick. Reduce your speed. Leave that distance between vehicles uh, as you're heading out. And uh, use those headlights whenever you turn on those wiper blades, right? Want those lights on when it is raining out. So turn those headlights on uh, because you never know. We're expecting some heavier rains throughout the day. And it already just is really dark out today, don't you think? It's just cloudy. So um, or, and it has been. So it's just easier to have all of those on. But uh, we've got this going the next couple of days. So uh, please uh, stay safe out there in Ready, Wisconsin. Try and get you prepared as uh, you head out uh, and continue through this rainy part of the week. All right, and uh, person absentee voting uh, started today. We got the information here for you. Uh, in person uh, absentee ballot uh, uh, voting will be held at the Fitchburg City Hall. So if you want to come in person, 5520 Lacey Road runs today, March 22nd through April 1st. Uh, Mon and this will be Monday through Friday with hours 7 30 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. And then on Friday, April 1st, uh, it'll be uh, 7 30 to 5 p.m., an extra half hour for you to get in. Uh, your uh, in-person absentee voting and uh, get it done. Uh, in any additional information, you can go to our website, fitchburgwi.gov. Also, if you're, uh, you got your absentee ballots in the mail and you want to get those back to City Hall, you can put them in the mail uh, and they'll get back to City Hall. But what you can't do is bring them and drop them in the drop box. So no drop off in the drop box here cannot be used uh, to return your ballot uh, for the selection uh, for some changes uh, that happened uh, statewide uh, for the specific election so you may not uh, drop off those ballots there you have to drop it off uh, directly to our clerk and uh, please make sure you fill out these uh, uh, or <laughs> fill out your information correctly on uh, those uh, uh, ballots. I keep wanting to say application ballots. And uh, that again, when you're returning those, they're going to return it in person. It has to be your ballot, nobody else's. And then you drop it off to the clerk. Finally, if you need an ID for election, DMV is helping you with that. You can go to wisconsindot.gov. 
to get uh, an ID uh, to vote. And these are all the acceptable photo IDs that you can use on election day or for your absentee voting. So if you uh, need help uh, with that, check the DMV's website. I've got the link to get you there uh, when, uh, again, Andrew posts up those great headlines. All right, uh, finally ending with some uh, storm information. Free storm spotter classes are available through the National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan. And we want to make sure that you get this on your calendar. It's going to be happening next week, Wednesday, March 30th, 1 to 3 p.m. or 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Madison College Truex Building, room D1630. It's the Cafe Annex. It's a huge room. I've been in there. Seven, 1701 Wright Street. There's free, uh, it's free training and it's open to the public, no registration, free parking as well. Uh, this is a two hour class uh, with the first hour will cover the essentials of storm spotting and how to report severe weather to the National Weather Service. Second hour will go into the details of severe weather safety for spotters and those at home. And this is uh, hosted by the Emergency Management Madison College. Uh, and again, uh, put on by the National Weather Service, Milwaukee Sullivan. So if you're interested in uh, taking part in this, we're seeing more storms. It's been active, uh, certainly. So uh, even if you're not necessarily interested in reporting the storms, it's still good, uh, of course, to uh, sit in and learn about storms uh, and just the, the makeup of, of it. It helps you understand, too, um, what's happening you know, behind the scenes as these things roll in. So I've taken it a couple of times. It's a great course. And you can get signed up uh, or, or just show up and enjoy some great information from our folks at National Weather Service. Mark Seldon, I bet you Tim's doing that, friend of the show from uh, Weather Service. So can you tell him geeking out a little bit on that? Just saying. All right, let's take a quick break. <laughs> Coming up next, we'll check in with the city administrator. And later in the show, we'll have our chamber update with Brandon all here on this edition of Talking Fitchburg.